Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly review of my emergency fund. Balance on the account is $20. I know this is a huge decrease from last week and I did it again and again. So I depleted the money, the little money that was in the emergency fund to invest more aggressively into my brokerage. I don't know, I just couldn't stop myself from just wanting to put more money into my brokerage account because I really, really want to get it to a $200,000 balance, but make sure you watch my brokerage account video update today because you are going to be completely shocked in terms of what happened to it. So uh, please tune in there, just some wild updates on the brokerage account. But back to the emergency fund, I'll show you what happened for the past week. You know, I'm always transparent. So on October 6th, I put in $20. Everything was great. I was feeling good. Then on Monday, October 7th, this is where I took out the $1,050. So yes, I just, I don't know. I just, I just needed to do everything I can to help my brokerage account to increase to the balance that I want it to be at. So for the emergency fund, I am committed to rebuilding the emergency fund, but I know, I think in last week's video, I had said I'm going to aim to get $3,000 in the emergency fund by December of this year. The original 2024 goal was 15,000, but there's just no way I'm going to get 15,000 in the emergency fund by this December. But even with this target, it's just been giving me a lot of anxiety in terms of getting to the $3,000 mark and the back and forth with me taking money out of it. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and edit this goal from 3,000. I'm just gonna make it 1,000. I'm just gonna do $1,000 increments for the emergency fund because it's just, Seems like a more realistic number for me to achieve and it just gives me less anxiety. So with that new updated target, I am 2% towards that goal. I know probably a lot of you or some of you will definitely go and give me some hard feedback in terms of me just depleting the emergency fund. And I totally understand your point of view. So I welcome the feedback, you know, good bad and different doesn't matter um we're all here to learn and grow from each other so i appreciate different point of views but this is where i am twenty dollars twenty bucks in my emergency fund so i'm just hoping no actual emergencies happen even a small one because all i have is twenty dollars to cover it i'm laughing but this is not this is this is not a good best practice you, you should definitely aim to have a fully funded emergency fund of three to six months so yes i am definitely okay so what i what can i say truthfully in terms of the emergency fund because i know in last week's video i said i'm focused on rebuilding and now i depleted it for a second time so what i can say is true is that this emergency fund will have at least one thousand dollars in it or more by December 31st, 2024. When that money will get in it, I don't know. I don't know the timeline. I don't know how much I'm going to put per week, but I will put money into the emergency fund. Okay, let me not see, because I don't know if I'll have another impulse moment. (laughs) So I'm trying to be honest. Okay, so the honest truth, this emergency fund will have $1,000 in it by December 31st, 2024. There, I said it. So I'll bring you along the journey. I'll share what's happening with me. I just, like I said, was just feeling real anxiety over my brokerage account and just wanting to just move that forward that I was willing to sacrifice everything else for it. So that's what I did. And yeah, that's the update for this week. So $20 went in, $20 is the emergency fund balance. 
All right, I'll catch you next week. Bye.